Hello, I'm Olumide McCauley. Here's a Channel's TV evening news cap for July the 28th, 2022. The Kanu State High Court is sentenced to death by hanging the proprietor of Noble Kids Academy and Northwest Preparatory School, Abdul Malik Tanko, for the kidnap and killing of five-year-old schoolgirl, Anifa Abubakar. The presiding judge, Justice Usman Nava, also sentenced Tanko to five years imprisonment for the four counts charges leveled against him. Meanwhile, the Minority Caucus of the House of Representatives has joined its Senate counterpart to hand President Muhammadu Buhari a six-week ultimatum to fix insecurity or face impeachment in the National Assembly. Minority Leader of the House of Reps, Ndudi Elumelu, revealed this after a closed-door meeting of the Joint Minority Caucus of the National Assembly on Thursday. He says the signatures will be gathered to impeach the President if the security situation is not addressed. And the Federal High Court in Abuja has granted the suspended Accountant General of the Federation, Idris Ahmed, and his co-defendants bail upon terms and conditions given by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. On the international scene, five people have been killed and 25 wounded in a Russian missile strike on a flight school in a central Ukrainian city. And the U.S. economy has shrunk for the second quarter in a row, a milestone that in many countries will be considered an economic recession. And in sports, more than 5,000 athletes are primed for action in the English city of Birmingham from Friday at a Commonwealth Games lacking several track and field stars but still boasting elite performers. And that's the Channels TV Evening News Recap. Please visit ChannelsTV.com for more updates and stories. I'm Illuminate McCauley. Thank you for watching.